Welcome to AllFreeBeadedJewelry.com's learning channel. Come to our website for thousands of free patterns and inspiring ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and of course our website to continue to receive more free patterns and crafting deals. I'm your host Mikey and ready to give you another free tutorial. So let's get started. In today's tutorial we're going to do the spiral chain mail and actually the chain is actually spiraling on its own and this is really great for high-end jewelry if you depending on the type of links that you chose you could actually do some really amazing chain work with this I'm gonna actually just use blue today you're gonna need a set of toggles for both sides and we're gonna show you and this is one of the fastest ways to actually make uh, chain mail it actually goes really simple once you understand the concept. Tutorial, I'm gonna use a strictly blue and we wanna shut the first one and now we wanna grab the next blue and go on just like so so we always want to work towards you so what we want to do now is that we want to position these together just like so okay and so using the next blue we want to come in through the center of both of them through the front side just like that okay. again you can use pliers to close if you want to and then basically you just have to shift it backward Okay, so the next one we always want to grab in two. Do you see how this loop is now grabbing into two? That's how what we want to do in the next one. So the very next one that we go through is actually going to be through these two. So we're going to come in from behind, just like down there. Okay, and close it. So now it's just hanging there, and all you just got to do is just kind of reposition and kind of evaluate. You'll notice that this ring is in front, the next one, and then the next one, and that's just perfect. So every time we go through now, we actually only want to go through two of the rings that are in the previous. So just grabbing it, and we want to go through the front one and the second one. So I just always come in from behind to do that, and come in to the forward. So you got to make sure you go through both of them in order to create that, and just shut it. So just by twisting it up like this, see you can start seeing that it's taking effect. So just keeping it tense right there, just going through the two. So right through the bottom. Okay, so I'm going through the first one and the second one. And we're gonna close it. Okay, keeping it tense. One and two. So you can really start seeing that the twist is actually taking effect. So one and two. One and two. It's really important you try to open your rings up as much as you can ahead of time. It just saves yourself some time for putting down the tools in order to work on these projects. So now you can start seeing, if I dangle it now, it's kind of looking like a mess. But as soon as you go to twist it like this, you can see that the spiral is actually taking effect and over time it'll look just like you see in the background. To add toggles, all you're going to need to do is just right on the end, just uh, uh, matching the same configuration, going through the two. And instead of closing it just like so, you can put your toggle on and close it just like so. And on the other side, you can also just open it up, that you've already done it, and just slip on the other toggle. Okay, so when you're hanging it like this, so watch what's going to happen. There, you can see it there. So this, over time, looks really amazing if you're uh, going to incorporate this with jewelry, a necklace, a bracelet. It's a really simple idea, and because of the way that we've wrapped it, you're going to be ensuring that your bracelet is actually, or your necklace, or your jewelry piece is going to be spiraling just like so.